Um, our next speaker will be Hannah Bokikio from Nagatuck High School. She's a 17-year-old senior. I love you, Hannah. Um, hi, I'm Hannah Bokiki. I'm a senior at Naugatuck High School. Um, I'm here today to speak to you all about the abuses that the GLBT youth suffers. I, myself, in my freshman year, was beaten down by a group of boys every day at lunch. And every day, they would scream dyke while beating me. And even though there were security on staff in the cafeteria, because it was a GLBT issue, they ignored it. One of the students that had been beating me during lunch um, decided that that wasn't enough, that he needed to beat me outside of those occasions. He would hit me in the hallways. He would push me on the stairs while saying, God hates you. When I finally couldn't take it anymore, because I had stopped coming to school. I had been skipping classes, been avoiding hallways. I finally, finally said something to the administrators and they wanted to immediately just suspend him because I thought that was the easiest solution. And I said, no. Obviously, he's lacking some sort of education. It's not that, it's not that he hates me so much as that he's naive to the fact that everyone is an individual and no matter gender or lack of label, everyone is a person. So I asked the administrators that I could sit down with him and just talk to him and ask him why. And they finally agreed and I did sit down with him and I said, why would you abuse me this way? And he said, it has nothing to do with you, and I wasn't targeting you. And I asked him, then why do it at all? And he really didn't have an answer. It was just that it was something to do, and it was because he didn't understand. This experience led me to start speaking to the incoming freshmen in all of their health classes. And every year, I have a panel of GLBT youth sit in the health classes, and we are asked questions. We answer questions and help to alleviate some of the misconceptions and help to alleviate some of the lack of education. Um, this not only helps GLBT students become comfortable with who they are in the building, but also helps the incoming freshmen to know that even if you are a GLBT, we have a support for you. We're here for you, and it's okay to be you. I would like to urge all of you to raise awareness, to raise respect, and to further the education of the heterosexual youth. And not only the heterosexual youth, but the homosexual youth too. Because I think a lot of us, even sitting here in this panel, are afraid sometimes, even in our own towns, in our own schools, in our own hallways. And it's wrong. And it's more than wrong. And we all know it, but we have to stand up and do something about it. Thank you very much for coming.